Rob Kardashian is suing Black Shina for trying to strangle him with a phone cord after consuming drugs and alcohol. Rob Kardashian is suing ex Black Shina for trying to strangle him with an epony cord after consuming drugs and alcohol according to a new report. The 30-year-old has made the explosive allegations in a new lawsuit according to the blast on Wednesday. In the documents obtained by the publication, the youngest Kardashian claims that the 29-year-old makeup mogul had drugs and alcohol in her system on the night of December 14, 2016 when a few ugly incidents had happened. Perhaps the most damning was the allegation that Shina had lunged at Kardashian in an attempt to strangle him with an epony charging cable. Related articles He claims that he was able to escape the asphyxiation but she had chased after him and repeatedly hit him in the head and face. Kardashian also claimed that he had suffered injuries to his neck and even documented the whole thing including rips in his shirt specifically around the collar according to the report from the blast. Before that Shina fascinated with two of the reality star's friends and was brandishing Rob's gun and even pointing it at the camera according to Kardashian. It all seemingly came to a head when Shina allegedly wrecked the house including damaging the TV, breaking cell phones, smashing the door, destroying walls and even crushing a gingerbread house that was made for Christmas. The home was not even Kardashian's property as he was renting from younger half-sister Kylie Jenner at the time. According to The Blast, the 20-year-old cosmetics entrepreneur is also suing Shina due to it being her property with an estimation that there was an excess of $100k in damage done to it. In the end the father of Dream Kardashian had attempted to flee the house in his Bentley but his then fiancé reportedly threw a chair at his car and even went as far as using a metal rod to hurt Rob. Sources for the gossip site claimed that the only Kardashian brother did not publicize the incident until now because he was still in love with Shina at the time. They also claimed he did not want the mother of his child arrested and for her to make a huge scene when law enforcement showed up. At the time Rob famously took to Snapchat to document an empty house as he said that Shina had left him and taken their baby daughter Dream. The news comes at an interesting time as just a day before Shina's high-profile attorney Lisa Bloom took to Twitter to share a photo of the two of them posing in front of a Bentley along with a cryptic message. The two are reported to have settled their custody dispute but the last entrepreneur is continuing to pursue the reality star for his revenge porn attack on her. It remains unclear if the luxury vehicle belongs to Rob or was the one mentioned in the blast report. And things took another twist on Tuesday when you not disrespect my client. I got your back, that black nut. Stay tuned for Chapter 2, y'all, the lawyer wrote. Shina, 29, agreed a custody arrangement with Rob, 30, that would give her $20,000 a month in child support. In return for the payment. She agreed to drop her allegations of abuse against the only son of Kardashian McGregor Chris Jenner. However, it's been reported by TMZ that she is still seeking the seven-figure sum to settle with her former fiancé over his social media posting of explicit photos and his X-rated rant against her in July. Raider Online claimed Tuesday that the ex-stripper wants more than $10 million from Rob and attempts at mediation have failed, prompting Bloom's tweet. Rob and Shina started dating in early 2016 got engaged that April and confirmed in May that they were having a baby together. Dream was born in November 2016 and her arrival was documented in a reality TV show aired on E! The network, however, did not order a second season of Rob and Shina and the two split up for good earlier this year. Shina is also mother to four-year-old King Cairo, her son with rapper Tajie who dated Rob's half-sister Kylie Jenner up until this past March.